The next question, the brother has been asking about the gelatin in food and medicine. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, there's a different gelatin has been exist in many types of uh, some of the foods. And also this exists in a medicine, but some of the medicine, not every medicine, not every food and uh, much foods that uh, I'm going to give an example like the company called uh, Kellogg's there was a uh, uh, spreading of uh, uh, fatwa that uh, there was a gelatin existing in some of the Kellogg's uh, varieties they made for the children and then we come to know that we shouldn't be eating that because the gelatin are are uh, made from the intestines and the tissues of uh, dead animals and the most of the gelatin that is being used in the medicine uh, do understand that the medicine the gelatin that comes in the in the in the medicine that gelatin is not in the medicine that gelatin is being used uh, in the medicine that most of them are made from the the tissue of the pork, uh, the pig, and uh, from the intestines, they it's made from the tissue, and that gelatin is the actually the cover the medicine that we eat. It's not the tablets; it's a capsules that you eat, and it is highly encouraged to all the Muslims. If you have a medicine that is a capsule but not in a tablet shape that capsule you have to uh, open the cover and eat the medicine and throw the cover away because that particular cover exists gelatin of a pig it could be a swine it could be a dead animal it could be anything but most of the gelatin that being um, uh, the medicine are made of the cover of the medicine of in the in the face of capsule that is made of the pig tissues from intestines from any part of the body it's from pig and the swine or it could be any dead animal but if you look at the food of the children that particular gelatin is being taken from the from the dead it could be a dead cows it could be a dead animals that is not halal and that is not supposed to be eaten and when it comes to the uh, medicine if you eating a capsule make sure you remove the cover and open up very slightly and you just open up in your mouth and make sure you throw the all the just squeeze the cover so the all the medicine the powder whatever the liquid would go into your mouth and throw that cover away because that cover is made so it would go into the stomach and it will um, melt right away and uh, you will be it, the medicine will go uh, fly off in your body but that cover should be like thrown away because that is made of a gelatin from the pig tissue or intestine or it could be any dead animal but there are some medicines but there are some medicine which does have included uh, gelatin in the medicine in the um, in the medicine the gelatin exists there and those are something which can be taken when something you have no option uh, to take any other medicine except that medicine in that case it is permissible to take it but if you can um, uh, replace it with something else which you have like a, a, a late cure that would be more recommended and try to avoid using the medicines of a gelatin or it could be any other materials which is not uh, allowed and which is not halal like one example the gelatin of the cover uh, is made with the pig tissue and intestines and also some of the gelatin not being used in the food and that's totally forbidden but when it comes to the medicine you have to just remove the cover and either put in the food and just uh, squeeze the cover in your mouth and just throw the cover away so that would be safe to use but mm, do not eat the cover because that cover is not halal it does have a, a pork ingredient in there so you can just throw it away and that's totally permissible to eat mm -hmm.